Tool development organizations are keen to measure their impact, but some methods are significant game changers. Faro Foundation is pioneering a new and highly effective system which tracks the usage of its dance in Somaliland, a region where water scarcity is a growing crisis for agro-pastoralist communities in arid and semi-arid regions. The country is consistently one bad rainy season away from drought and possible famine. Faro Foundation began building large Hefbeer dams in 2022 as a response to this issue. But there is little research on their usage patterns and impacts. To give us a precise measure of our dam's impact through the number and frequency of visitors to our dams, whilst tracing the limitations of manual monitoring, we introduced a scalable computer vision system for real-time data collection. The CamelCam uses computer vision technology to capture high-resolution images and videos of water points which are analyzed using advanced object detection algorithms. Artificial intelligence then processes this data. To help us understand how often these water sources are used, how long they can last through the dry season, and what improvements are needed. This allows us to plan better, build smarter, and support communities more effectively. Ultimately, the hope is to be able to combine data about usage of these facilities along with data about supply of water. Uh, you know, we, we're in uncertain times with climate change and changes in water supplies. And so how can we uh, prepare for, for those, that uncertainty by installing more, uh, more of these dams to create resilience against climate shocks and resilience against drought periods? So the magic is in how the model is able to identify, detect, classify, track entirely on these objects once they enter the field loop with. Unlike expensive satellite-based systems or labor-intensive manual tracking, the CamelCam is affordable, scalable, and easy to implement across multiple water sources. This makes it a practical solution for rural and underserved areas that need reliable water data. I think the CamelCam is a pretty exciting innovation for two reasons. Uh, first, we're measuring something that's never been measured before. We're literally counting sheep and camels and, and cows uh, using the system. And in a remote place like Somaliland, uh, where there's a pastoralist passing through these heifer dams to collect water, um, what we've created is an auditable and verifiable um, database of evidence on the exact number of end beneficiaries who are coming to collect water from these dams. I think that's important because if you're an investor or philanthropist who cares about improving climate resilience in across the Sahel or in the heart of Africa, then this type of technology, this type of measurement would give you a lot of confidence that the money you put into building infrastructure is actually reaching the end beneficiaries. And so uh, anytime you can create a new measurement of something uh, in a rigorous way, I think it unlocks new opportunities and so we're excited about that. The second reason why I think Camel Can is exciting is uh, I think we're scratching the surface of what uh, remote sensing technology for rural infrastructure could do. For instance, you could imagine a future perhaps where uh, technologies like the Camel Cam are allowing us to track uh, early indicators of drought. Perhaps we're seeing increased traffic coming through to some of our heifer dams uh, and it's unusual. Well, that might mean that there's not a lot of water uh, elsewhere and that there's no pressure building at these points. Or perhaps we might see that the animals in the camera footage are moving quite slowly or are emaciated, and that could give us a uh, type of measure of animal health. Uh, and both of those are important because the earlier we know of uh, a coming crisis, the earlier we could respond and ultimately we say less. With this innovative approach, Thara Foundation is revolutionizing water resource management in Somaliland. The data collected can inform policy, optimize water distribution, and even create opportunities in the future for investment in water credits. Because attempting to address the water crisis without consistent evidence that we are on the right track is like taking a shot in the dark.